flight deck of the future for one major avionics provider, Talus, is set for certification in 2020. Aviation Week recently visited the company's avionics development labs in Bordeaux to see how the system works from a pilot's viewpoint. What we found was a flight deck that's user-friendly, touch-capable, connected, and that anticipates the pilot's needs in a mission. Remind, this solution is really based on three main pillars. The first one is the uh, capability to, uh, to have a crew, what we call crew-centric design, be able to have very, uh, very natural, very intuitive interaction for the, uh, for the crew. So the full cockpit is touch-capable using capacitive technology. Uh, as you can see, uh, that part more dedicated to manage the mission, that part more dedicated to, to, to fly the aircraft, and you can see this, uh, this screen, which is more dedicated for the uh, aircraft system management, and one of, 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 the, uh, of the aspect we are working on on this, uh, on this screen is the ability to virtualize a lot of control panel, physical control panel, and be able to replace physical control panel by virtual one to save some weight, some volume uh, uh, inside the aircraft. Uh, so you can see we, we have the ability to have very smooth, uh, very uh, the same kind of integration you can do with uh, iPhone, for instance, or iPad. So zoom in, zoom out, uh, rotate. Uh. The second aspect of this cockpit is uh, to have a mission minding design, so be able to introduce new way to manage more efficiently the mission. Uh, clearly, some example here, we can uh, interact directly on the flight plan, just like that. Uh, for instance, moving a waypoint, uh, uh, removing one, uh, just interacting directly with the screen. We add as well new features. An example here is the, the timeline, which does not exist today in any kind of cockpit that will help the pilot to better manage the, the time and all the action he, it will have to perform in the, uh, in the, during the flight. And another big change in the cockpit, so you have as well the capability to interact with it to get uh, a prediction in terms of flight, fuel, and uh, so on, uh, etc. And another big change regarding this cockpit is uh, really the organization of the information so in current cockpit, you have a lot of uh, interface linked to each avionics system. We have a big change here because we present uh, only the, the right information at the right time when it is needed. And uh, we, uh, we have a, a presentation of the information according to the task the pilot has to perform. For instance, I can perform whatever the system behind that delivers the information. It can be avionics system, but it can be as well open world system that can deliver information through the secure communication uh, system we have between avionics and open world that delivers the information to perform this task uh, efficiently. Yeah. We are working on the next generation that uh, OLED and the curved and the free, uh, free format uh, display, but it will be the next generation, not for the 2020 and 2022 service.